Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. I'm also known here as the Solar Thermal Queen, so I thought I'd run by some solar hot water equipment with you. So um, what we're going to do right now is compare a couple of the differential temperature controllers, or DTC. What this job is, is to compare the temperature up at the collector versus the temperature of the tank. So based on the differential between those two temperatures, it will turn the pump on or off. Now what I'm looking at here is a couple of products by IMC. It's called the Eagle 2. They are available several different models. This one here is AC powered, so you would be running an AC pump. This one here is actually PV powered. You can actually run it directly off a photovoltaic panel. So you wouldn't be using any electricity at all to run that pump. Um, the, the main features of this is, as I said, to monitor the different temperatures and to control turning the pump on or off. So it has a really nice 40 character display that is backlit. So it will actually show you both the temperature of the collector and the tank, but it also has a couple of ports for auxiliary uh, sensors. So you can have two other sensors in the location. Uh, a lot of people like to have it up at the top of the tank, so you can compare the different temperatures from the bottom to the top, and you can have one outside or somewhere else in your system. Those two auxiliaries are just informational, so it doesn't actually turn on or off based on them, but it's really nice to have that data right there. Speaking of data, one of the options that you can do with either of these is you can actually buy the optional PC connector and what this does is it provides a serial port so that you can send all of the data that it's gathering from all four of those sensors every six minutes it will send it to a log on your PC. There are a couple of different features that you can adjust on this controller. You can adjust the difference between the collector and the tank. It can go down to 8 degrees difference and up to 24 degrees difference. There's also a high temperature limit. So this monitors the tank. And if the tank gets to be too hot, it will turn the pump off. So this will keep the tank itself from exceeding its temperature rating. Another feature with the Eagle 2 is it has a freeze protection. So if you turn that on, what it will do is if the collectors get to be too cold, somewhere around 40 degrees, it will actually turn on the pump. Now granted, this will cool off your tank a little bit, but what it will do is it will send hot water through the collectors keeping them from freezing. This, this freeze protection is really important for direct systems where you are directly heating your water and the only freeze protection is making sure that it doesn't get too cold out. So this will, in, in situations where every now and then if you do happen to have an unexpected frost, this will turn on the water and keep it from freezing. So again, this one is AC powered. This one, if you have a DC pump, so it needs to be specifically for a, a pump that is designed to run on solar panels, you can get the DC powered one, you connect your solar panel directly into the, the controller, and you connect the pump in here, and it will turn on and off the pump. Now, uh, a lot of people like to use this in addition to just having the, the solar control whether to turn on or off the pump, because in the morning you can sometimes have the collectors uh, still cold when there's still enough sun to actually turn the pump on. So this prevents it from turning on too early in the morning and off too, too uh, soon in, in the evening. And it's got the same controls, the, the difference, you would ch set the differential and the high limit. So other than the fact that it's DC powered as opposed to AC powered, they're both identical. Well, that's just a quick overview of the IMC Eagle 2 Differential Temperature Controller. Thanks for watching.